Well, it's a week later, it's actually Friday. I was gonna start this video tomorrow morning because I'm going on a road trip with Joe Pro to get the new, uh, add the new tractor to the fleet and grab the other, the UB to bring home so we can get it ready to sell. But anyway, I just wanted to show tonight before I take all this stuff. I've got my uh, pile of hoses here. I've got everything labeled. I went through last night and did a better job of labeling. This week I did decide to take the three point cylinders off the back, got those here. Those will be going to Oliver Phil. I decided might as well. Gonna load up the fuel tank to take to him. Gonna take the Vickers hydraulic pump for the other tractor, the steering cylinders. So I'm gonna have a pile of stuff that uh, I'm gonna be taking over to Oliver Phil tonight so he can start working. I counted them, I have 20 hoses that need made and uh, only one of those I don't need two of because I'm making them for both tractors, but 20 hoses. And after I went over and looked at the other tractor, they all, all will work. They're all the same size. So that's where we're at. I'm gonna get this stuff loaded up and take it over to Oliver Phil and, uh, and uh, prep for my little trip tomorrow that I'm gonna take you guys on. All right, early Saturday morning, <clears throat> hooked up to the trailer, waiting on Joe Pro, who I told to be here at a certain time, and he texted last night, like, well, I might be a little bit wait, late, and I said, well, I won't know, because I won't be here, but I'll wait on him. It is early, it is Saturday, but a lot of road to cover today, and uh, go down and get a new tractor, and uh, bring another one home to sell, so... When he gets here, we'll get on the road and go from there. All right, looky who it is. Now, we said that we were leaving at six. Hmm, doesn't look like six, just saying. Well, made it down here. You can tell it's a little foggy. We came down here in the fog all day, but here's gonna be the new tractor. 1969 U302 diesel. Uh, it's pretty nice shape, pretty straight. We've just, just started to look over it, but I'm uh, thinking this is gonna be, be a pretty nice one when I get around to it, but it's gonna go down to Kentucky to my uncle's for a bit, because I got other projects I need to work on. But uh, so far, so good. It's got an old dealer sticker on it there from an Oliver dealership. Can't really see what it says. Uh, do have the original seat for it. The original top link you have a little bit of rod around the valve stem there but that's not terrible it's got the original gauges although they're clouded up with uh, and I've seen that happen on these before on the diesels uh, just the gauge gets a little cloudy from the diesel smoke blown in but all in all this is a pretty nice looking tractor I'm pretty excited about this he also has a 1355 sitting here and uh, he's working on it right now. He's having trouble keeping it running, but man, this is a nice tractor too. Like I'm, I'm pretty giddy. Like I'd like to have that. I mean, who wouldn't? That's a neat tractor right here. Pretty, uh, pretty amazing. The fuel tank fenders had, said it had a cab on it. He's still working on it. Like I said, he's having a little bit of trouble with the with the injection pump, but uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna walk over and show you, we just walked into another barn over here. Then he brought us over here into this this barn and he's got a nice uh, Vista propane in here. And uh, he's working on it in the process of working on it, but uh, it's got the console there. He's got a new dash he said he got from Stoms. Uh, see the propane tank and uh, three point the dual PTO this is a nice looking tractor I would uh, yeah it'd be another pretty cool tractor to have also since I've had my newfound love for uh, propane but he's got he says he's got around 50 tractors and uh, yeah this is uh it's just pretty neat. We came in here, I'm like, holy smokes, a propane 
vista that's uh it's really not too far away from being like really nice, you know, put the back together. But we're going to go look at some other tractors. Got a nice little cub here with the bush hog on the bottom of it. He said he's probably going to be selling that also. But, uh, yeah, this is, like I said, a foggy drive down here for me and Joe. But so far, I'm really happy about the 302 diesel. And uh, it's really cool to see that that uh, 1355 and now this Vista and now we're gonna go look at some other stuff well Uncle Dennis is uh, here also and he's talking to to Larry so they're telling stories so I'm gonna look around and we'll worry but there's an 1850 set in here a nice 1850 Larry said his brother really likes this tractor and uses it quite a bit so I think that's uh, fuel tank fenders Another nice tractor. Squeeze around back behind here. Yeah, I guess they use this one all the time around here. So, pretty cool. All right, we came into another barn here. He's got a 2150 he's working on. He's got working on the motor. 4650, I think he said, John Deere. I was low hours on it. He's getting that thing going. It's kind of an interesting place. He's got scoreboards. He's got license plates. Uh, signs from uh, we're around Georgetown, Ohio, and scoreboard over there. Very interesting shop here. It's set up pretty well to work on things. I'd love to have kind of a setup like he's got here. But again, fuel tank fenders. Uh, he's got a two one thirty five motor here that he's pulling parts off to. Uh, to put onto this one and then uh, he's got another John Deere uh, back here he's working on and again license plates and old basketball backboards and pretty uh, pretty interesting so this is a uh, fun day he's got where he's working on uh, there's the rest of the hood for the 1355 working on the hoods different things for this tractor here and so yeah this is uh this is an education today for sure having a good time listening to larry and have him tell us about all this stuff boy there's some big meat on the front of that john deere those look those look nice on there so this is really low houred tractor here so all right we came down to Larry's house and checking out he's got this really nice 21 2255 here he said that he did a whole nut and bolt on this a few years ago and uh, this thing is is very nice it's a good looking tractor very nice sitting on the other side over here we got a cock shut 1750 with fuel tank fenders real nice uh, it is a match to this 1750 sitting over here it's also got fuel tank fenders so he said he had kind of had those as the as the pair so uh pretty neat to see got a little international cub tractor there and then sitting here in the middle is a really nice 1981 2135 white red stripe and uh he said he bought that for may boss Got a 1950 sitting here, also fuel tank fenders. Good looking, uh, good looking tractor. Looking back at the 1750 and the 2255. These are just all very nice tractors. He's got a very original uh, 950 diesel here. Said this came out of Wilkie's, I think he said, but it was probably a Del Monte tractor. It's got W12 on it there. Um, the dealer tag is uh, Al Swiderski Implement Incorporated. Um, but anyway, really nice 950 bubble nose here. I'll put that fabric under this gravel. It's just like having concrete. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, 1971. I told him the best thing on it's those steps because these things are a pain to get off and on, but it's uh, 
gauges are there. He's got the cover. Nice looking 950. And then he's got a G1000 Wheatland sitting back here. Uh, it's also a nice tractor. He also has this 3588 IH sitting here in the middle that he said he buffed out and that paint came back pretty good. He said it was pretty much pink when he uh, when he got it and then he worked on cleaning it up. For those that like two plus twos or whatever they call these, that's the uh, Shirks out of Greensburg, Indiana. Try not to run into anything else, take a step back from it. Another view of the really nice 2135. Everybody's having fun talking to Larry. There's a lot of information being exchanged in here. Real nice 5020. He did a restored this and painted this. It's a nice looking tractor. Sitting next to a 4020. He's got a little bit of everything. And then he's got a 1586 IH set in here. It's got a tag on it from Burkhart's in uh, Bucyrus. Here's the 4020. It's also really nice. He did a good job. All these tractors are uh, very impressive. Then back here in the corner, he's got a 66 1030 case. And it's got a tag on it from a dealer tag from Hillsboro. Got a little kitty cat up in the seat. But uh, Comfort King, kind of neat tractor. But yeah, this is uh, it's been this is a fun day just getting down here and learning about his tractors and seeing what he's got. He's, uh, not only am I getting a really cool 302 diesel, but uh, yeah, this is always awesome to see other people's collections. This 2135, I spent a lot of time on one of these. My uncle had one, it was like a 77 or 78, and I cut my teeth on it. That was a big, big deal when I was a kid to drive that thing, and I plowed a lot of, plowed a lot of ground in that, that 2135. It was a good tractor. So, yeah, this is a... Uh, we're having fun, for sure. He said, yeah, he's got all the 30 series cases. He said the Super M had a picker on it. It's kind of going down through here, describing each tractor. This tractor was bought new in Georgetown by a lady, a real wealthy lady, he had a belly bush all over it. So I bought this from him. buddy. And then I just restored this. This in here I farmed with for 25 years. My 400. I had a picker on it, and I did a nut and bolt on it. It's got a new motor. It's it it will it will use touch it and starts. So I even bought the high price seat and, and all that. And then the the 30 series, the two tricycles. Just I haven't done much to those. And I bought this sight unseen. This was just black dirt. It is fantastic. I've been putting chrome alternator. Seven thirty back here, sixty six. Oh yeah, that's what's on this. Hopefully you can hear him describing each one of these because oh, yeah. he's going down oh, yeah. through. He's oh yeah, they do. Got a story behind each one of them. My original Cub that I bought in seventy nine, it still works, but it, now I do have a two cylinder that I ain't no big fan of. This tractor's completely been gone through. Five thirty. And I bought a six thirty. It's great, but. I'm kind of thinking about selling it. I'm just not a hand clutch guy. I, I had them with little cases. I had a year ago. I should have sold that. Please. Yeah, well. That's what Steve wanted. If, uh, yeah, I might sell it if you know somebody looking for one. This is a great little tractor here. This yeah. Tractor. Pretty awesome. Said his dad was into cases. That's why they have all the cases. But they got a little bit of everything. The 112 is a one owner. The Vet and Fendi's have had that farm. They bought it new. They bought three of them new. They're all their doctors. Oh, yeah. And they, uh, it, uh, when they left, they give it to me. And I restored it. That was my first fiberglass job. 
not real fun fiberglass. No, fiberglass will, will humble you quickly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Really oh, awesome yeah. stuff here. Okay. Sold a load of junk up in the sardine guy. Because I got to be able to get my fire out. So he's got. I just restored the 430. This come out of, I got a good friend in Wisconsin. He's a case guy. This is kind of what I grew up on. We still got a 530 we use. And uh, the, the, I kind of did a nut and bolt on this one. And then there's my 530 Air Force. Okay. That was on Mekon. It didn't sell. And it didn't sell. Some guy called me and said, you want to buy this 530? Yeah. Diesel. Diesel. Oh, and then I got a gas 530 we use all the time. A poem. My brother. This is a 430. This is a 530. And then I've got the 470, which is a low, low profile. Low, profile, low board. Uh, nice little tractor, and but it's got all the newer stuff on it. The newer steering, the three point, or this has got three point. This has got the eagle hitch, which I like the eagle hitch. There's nothing wrong with the eagle hitch, but I always I rewire them, and you know I kind of. But the patrolman up here retired. Came up. Uh, this is one of their tobacco drying barns, but they're uh, they're good people down here. Big Ohio State fans. So they got a lot of their bins, the O on a lot of their bins and things painted up. Moline Dan, I think if you came down here, they'd probably let you in, but you'd have to maybe wear some Ohio State stuff. Inside the barn, there's not lights in here, but uh, he's got a new idea. Corn picker in here, he says he still picks some corn. It's a nice, uh, nice picker. A couple corn heads, which you can see the barn. Very nice old tobacco bo drying barn. This is all oak superstructure with some, with some poplar. And uh, we've got an old John Deere baler in here. And those guys built this. Now, Andy, you've never been in the tobacco barn. See those guys rails. built this in four days. Yep. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. See? Joe's putting batteries in that thing, or he's some of the cables weren't in the best shape, so I'm going to walk down. But got an old case in here. One for fourteen seventy. The guy that oh here's his big crawler. He talked about that he had a big crawler or a bulldozer. I think he said it's a Komatsu. But yeah, uh, pretty neat. And then down here, got another O on the barn. On the bins, they got O's. The barn painter just showed up. He asked if we needed any barns painted with the big O on it and he said we have a friend up in Michigan, Dan, that probably needs one put on his. Anyway, we got a case 2670 down here. That's a pretty neat old tractor. Larry said he bought that just to play around with. And then we got another Oliver sitting here, a 1650. So nice uh they got their big combine in here, but Nice 1650 Oliver. And then this big old 2670. Pretty neat collection. He's got a little bit of everything and, and uh, yeah, it's pretty, we're having a lot of fun just talking, telling stories while we're, but now it's time to get serious. He did mention there's no PTO on this, so he doesn't use it a whole lot, but he said it's a fun tractor to have around. Anyway, I get back up here. I'm letting Joe do all the work while I'm doing the filming, which probably isn't very good. But uh, get the batteries in this. See how, what that does with it. He said he was having trouble keeping it running. Ready? Yep. Here it goes. Gonna get a picture. <laughs> This one here, I never, I just bought it. You want, you're not a tractor. It. Ready? You're a tractor for you. Know. Just keep going. Oh, fresh. 
picture? Yep. Kind of important. Boy, she sounds pretty good so far. Good. We just have to put a seat up her so he can these keep These are pretty eating. cold. Hit it again without the leak. This is a Minneapolis Moly through to Ethan. <laughs> We need some tools. Right there. All right, we're gonna pick away at this. All right, Joe did a little bit of magic down there, and she's running good now. PTO. Hydraulic flu is a little low, so I'm not surprised that's running a little bit slow. She sounds good. Yes. Larry brought us over to show us this barn. This thing's old. You can see by the beams down 1818. there. 1818. The house is identical to it. Is it original here or did they move it here? Yeah, the house was built in 1818 too, but got this in here. He said this is called what they call the bullpen. And they'd keep feeding there. But this thing is this thing is built with these big beams in it. And uh, yeah, you can see on the back wall back there. It's literally, those are roughly hewn logs. Still have bark on some of them there. But uh, I guess they said their stalls downstairs, so we're going to walk down there and check that out. Foundation. So there's a 52 foot log that runs the whole length of this thing. Oh, wow. Look at the overhang on this thing. It holds 2,000, 2,200 bales of hay. I, I always bring people in here. That hand you'd log right there is 52 foot long. Huh. One, one beam. One beam. Somebody huh. had to cut that. But she's in real shape. Poplar, walnut, oak is pretty much the logs that's in it. That is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hand you, well, we've taken pretty decent care of it. It had electric in it, okay. and I told Lynn, I said, Lynn, let's get that out of there. We don't need it. That's just something, a fire hazard. I said, can't, we don't need it. But can't burn it down if it ain't here. That's right. So we don't put, we don't, all we put in there is square bales and that wood. And You're not afraid of putting the square bales in it? No, no, that's not. We don't. We make sure. That it's is pretty, pretty awesome barn. You know? That is pretty cool. We make sure. But that is pretty, oh, look at that corner. Oh. The house up there. Is almost identical to it. When we put heat and air conditioning in it, the crawl space isn't very big. Four joists are huge. We had this little skinny guy. He said, "Oh my God! Wait till you see what I found. We found a dead body." 
they left the stump. When they cut the trees down to build the house, they, they couldn't get the stump, stump out. They just built it over the stump. So that... The stump is under the living room. <laughs> yeah. Now, no one knows that story. The people, there was a guy from Iowa, a preacher. His family lived here for a few years. Get that beam. He did. He wrote a book about it. Okay. And it was funny. He was in, he, he, our, our veterinarian went on some kind of mission to Alaska. Well, we got it loaded. No problem. Got it strapped down. Uh, since that rim's got a little bit of issues with it, we didn't get real, didn't put really any air in it, but we should be, we're not going far. And, uh, didn't notice this rim at one point had been repaired around the middle, but I'll just get new rims at some point. But there she is, the new 302. Love these things. And guess what today is? March 2nd, 302 day. And I have a new 302 to the fleet. And it runs, and pretty happy. And uh, our next stop will be headed down to uh, Kentucky to Monkles. But I really appreciate. I'm going to walk over here because this is the next best thing when they talked about painting. But on all their bins, they are true Ohio State fans down here. Moline Dan, if you're watching this, you know, we can send them up your way and they can uh, they can church up your place a little bit, make it, uh, make you proud. But uh, if I come down here far enough, you can see the, the block O's are stacked on their bins there, which is pretty neat. So really appreciate Larry. I mean, he's been a great host. I really appreciate him selling me that Moline. This is, like I said, great people this is fun this is why i do tractor stuff days like today where it's just fun all day history with the barns in this area down here man we're having fun well we made it down into kentucky we just went up the house and ate but i am uh lucky my uncle had a original g1000 vista uh toy that when i was a kid i was not allowed to touch and here 40 some years later he gifted that to me today and he also has this 2155 that uh, he was telling a story about how he got this that it was gifted uh, or given to him after they helped uh, white set up for the farm science review in Ohio at one point but anyway he gave that to me also so I'm uh, I'm making out today I'm really making out all right we're down here and we're gonna good. Just watch the front. The front's pretty narrow. It runs nice. I'm, 
I'm pretty happy. You want to try the torque? You want to try that? the grass Anybody watched uh, tractor pullers back in the 80s and 90s, if you recognize those, that was my uncle's uh, D21 puller back then. But, uh, yep, she's tucked away down here. We'll uh, go out and load up the UB here in a minute. So, here's the UB. Joe's going to pull it up on there on the trailer for me and then uh, he's going to get a tour while I uh, chain it down. Put a new exhaust manifold on this. This is a exhaust manifold off a of 670 so it sounds a little bit better than when I dropped it off down here. take it home just do a little bit of work to it and then I'll be listing it for sale because one comes one's got to go this is one straight I gotta look at the serial tag I think it's for some reason I want to say it's 55 but I could be wrong
on, Nancy. Alright, got the UB chain down. One thing we didn't do was turn around the rig before I chained it down, so there's not really a place to turn around up here. It's not necessarily great. I do think I need to put a strap over the seat so the seat doesn't flop around. But other than that, I think we're ready for the drive back home. Joe's in putting the uh, return line that he took off the pump. He's putting that uh, back on the 302 before we go. And uh, yeah, what a great 302 day. Picked up 302 diesel, taking the UB home. This will be for sale if anybody's looking for a super straight, very nice UB. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to let you know exactly what year it is because that's been bugging me that I have been Forgetting, now I gotta try to scooch around here without falling. All right, my handy dandy list here. You be you, and shield number is. Zero five eighty zero four zero one six zero four zero. Yeah, this would be the serial numbers in fifty five started at five eighty four zero zero three, and this is four zero one six. So this was the thirteenth built in fifty five. So that's what I know. Rebuilt the carb. Like I said, got the new exhaust manifold on it, which is more the 670 style. There is just a little bit of rot here. They all get that. That's easily repaired. Original decals are still on it. Um, yeah, and she runs like a top. Some of the linkages are a little bit off, which I will adjust um, after putting that new manifold on. But that's kind of kind of what we got. Got to love the old original MM decal up front. And uh Yeah, it's a pretty straight straight tractor. So I'm going to strap down the seat and then I think we'll be about ready to head back north for a long drive. So we'll uh we'll talk about this here in a little bit or get home or whatever all right back home truck backed into the barn did have the original seat for that uh 302 diesel and the original top link the top link's broken the handle that you spin it with is not on there anymore and the clips broke but it is original top link seats here has an aftermarket seat on it i can do some work on this and make this thing look like like new i've done it before not a big deal Trailers out there in the dark backed in. Got the UB sitting up here. Got the battery cores out of the, the diesel sitting there. And then I got all my, my tools unloaded. Uh, so tomorrow I will do a little work on that 302, take some pictures, do a little washing on it, and uh, get it advertised for sale. And... Uh, then I'm going to probably do some work on the uh, the A4T, uh, hopefully. And um, yeah, so I, today was a great day. Joe and I had a great time driving. Uh, it's like 7 o'clock now. We left here at, I think I showed you the clock when Joe got here, 20, 
nine minutes late or whatever it was, 21 minutes late. Just got to give him a hard time about that because I know he watches. But anyway, uh, Larry and his family, his brother, and yeah, it was just such a good time down there at their farm picking up the 302. March 2nd, 302 day. I got a 302 diesel, a 69 with 15 made. So I'm one of 15 made. I'm pretty happy about that. On down to my uncle's, got to see my aunt and my uncle, which is always good. she be in Kentucky for a little bit. Drop off the 302, pick up the UB, and then a nice drive home with Joe. So all in all, today was, today's why I do tractor stuff. Meet and uh, hang around good people all day, have a good time, learn things. Uh, yeah, it was just fun. Oh, and Larry, Texas on the way home. So that 1355 Oliver that was sitting there, he was having trouble keeping it running. He kind of, Joe said, suggested he do like we did on the 302 diesel to keep it running. He texts on the way home, says it runs like a top now. So it was building up too much pressure in the pump. So he'll have to get that sorted out. But now he knows what his problem was. And he said it ran great. So success, you know, that's people helping people and mulling people taking care of mulling people, tractor people taking care of tractor people. It's all fun. So all in all, great day. And, uh, I'm going to go in the house, and uh, it's been a long day, too, so I'm going to gonna go inside and eat some dinner and relax a little bit with Mrs. Ohio M.M., and we'll be back out here tomorrow, but I'm going to drop this video tonight. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Make comments if you want. I uh, appreciate everybody, and uh, we'll see you at the next video.